All right, so if y'all ain't already checked it out, Black Blues TV family, I put out a video um, talking about uh, Anthony Joshua's trainer uh, said what the game plan was going to be for Andy Ruiz. So it's hard to even argue the fact when Andy Ruiz says, I know Anthony Joshua's game plan already because his game plan is out there. And it's, if you want to be a hunter, you know what I'm saying, boxing is boxing. There wasn't too many different strategies AJ could approach with, especially his stylistic way of how he fights for him to succeed against uh, Ruiz. So he didn't have too many options. AJ said that himself. I'm not going to go over that. I said that in the last video. But Andy Ruiz has came out and he said, hey, man, I know what Josh was going to do, and that's what I'm preparing for. That's what training camps are preparing for. Uh, Josh was obviously, he's preparing. He knows what Andy Ruiz is going to do, so he's preparing for that. Uh, this is coming from Andy Ruiz himself. We had a longer preparation than we did for June 1st. I'm pretty sure he has a good game plan up his sleeve, but what we're doing is going to be a perfect for his style, for what he's going to try to do. I don't want to predict a knockout. The main thing is I'm going to do whatever I can to get the victory. Um, it's going to be hard to win on points against Joshua, in my opinion. I'm not saying that because of any type of bias judging or anything like that. I just don't see Andy Ruiz being able to outbox Joshua. I think if he tries to outbox him, it will go very similar to the Josh, uh, excuse me, Joseph Parker fight. But he knows that, so let's keep on. I think he's going to be boxing around using his distance, trying to jab, uh, be around. That's what he said he's going to do as well as his trainer. But it's my job for me to not let him do that. He can't go either way. It could be harder or easier. I just need to let my hands go. It really doesn't matter where the fight is going to be at, but I think it was a good decision coming over here. Saudi Arabia. So he said he needs to let his hands go. That is really the main thing. When you were watching the first fight, you saw the only reason why the first three rounds were close is because Andy Ruiz did not let his hands go, and he basically boxed with Joshua. As soon as he decided to brawl instead of box, Joshua became uncomfortable, and uh, you know, that's all the first fight. So what you guys think about this? Do you think it makes any difference that Andy Ruiz knows his game plan? Obviously, uh, AJ's trainer, he's publicly said what the game plan is, so it's impossible not to for Andy Ruiz to know the game plan of the training team. Even before he said that, most people knew what AJ was going to do. AJ, for the most part, said it himself multiple times that he only had three options and whatnot. Um, he had to just add to his game plan. So, And obviously, if you look at the way AJ fights, he doesn't have too many different stylistic approaches that he can choose from that would be successful against Andy Ruiz. So obviously, they know what he has planned to do. But with that all being said, Andy Ruiz knows, his team knows, so the real question is, is the fight is happening this weekend? Who y'all got winning? Because at this point, fuck the talking. I want to know who y'all got, what round, when is going down, and will we have a rubber match? That's the question. Let me know, Black Blue family.